Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. And I've got some statistics that will blow your mind. Well, it won't blow your mind at all. It won't be surprising, but it will at least please you, I hope, in some way. The fall from grace of Keir Starmer is astonishingly quick. Like, wow. That whooshing sound you hear past your ears, that's Keir Starmer's popularity falling at a rate of knots. But how fast and what is it in comparison with others? Well, from his election in 2000 and, sorry, 2000, in 1997 uh, until 2004, Blair took 1,104 days before his popularity was below 30%. Brown, in 2008, it took him 1,082 days to fall to 30%. Boris Johnson, in 2022, and that took him 762 days. <coughs> but admittedly, there was COVID in the middle of that. That didn't help. Thatcher, in 1981, took 676 days. Theresa May took 675 days in 2019. Harold Wilson, remember, cutting the pound note in half, 664 days, and that was back in 1966. Uh, no, sorry, 1968. And John Major, even John Major was over a year, 397 days back in 1993. What's telling here is that Thatcher lasted 676 days before she was at 30%. Keir Starmer, 70. Thatcher was 10 times more successful than Starmer. And st not surprising, she was brilliant. But Labour must hate this. The Labour Party now must look at Starmer and go, oh God, what have we done? Is this buyer's remorse? He has achieved in 70 days what Thatcher took two years to do, fall to 30%. And it won't stop falling. He is in free fall. It will go. He will be 25, 20, 15, 10. The Labour Party have got to get rid of him and they've got to get rid of him quickly. I hope they don't, of course. The longer he's there, the more likely it is that the Labour Party will completely implode and fail. That'll be to everybody's benefit. So keep going, Kia. But yeah, T Thatcher, 10 times more popular than Keir Starmer. Jolly good. Keep it up. Bye.